<sighs> man I was about to upload a, a, a video on this this breaking news about Jim Derrigatis, um, but I decided against um, an upload that I was getting ready to put up. <sighs> Man, this is pissing me off, you know, because the thing about it is, is that you don't got somebody like Jim Derrigatis for... 20 plus years that has been allowed unchallenged to get out in the court of public opinion and verbally point fingers at R. Kelly concerning serious criminal sexual allegations. He's been allowed to make money off this. He's been allowed to author a book in 2019 before R. Kelly got indicted federally in two different jurisdictions. And you mean to tell me that in 2008, when you got called to testify, all these young black girls and women who don't have a voice, who has nobody to take up for them, who has nobody, you know, there to help administer justice. You mean to tell me that in 2008, when you had your chance, you got up on the stand and your journalistic integrity or privilege, your sources was more important to you than testifying against R. Kelly. If he was so guilty you had your chance right then and there to help administer justice. But you didn't do that. You looked out for yourself. And potentially the individuals who was behind helping to set up, extort, and blackmail R. Kelly. That's who, that's who was important to you. And now again, after you've been allowed to get on the court of public opinion, point fingers at R. Kelly, writing a book, collaborating with uh, Toronto Burke and Me Too, going on all these media outlets, running your damn mouth. As soon as you get a subpoena from Daryl McDavid's team to testify in this current case, now you filing a motion to prevent being compelled to testify in a court of law. So again, here you go again. But you know what? The legacy main street media, they don't point this stuff out. They don't point this stuff out. Everybody want to push the narrative that R. Kelly for all of these years, you know, has you know, done everything he could to evade justice, that he's had all of these handlers and enablers and a support system that's helped him been able to evade justice, to obstruct justice. But they don't say nothing about individuals like Jim Derrigatis pleading the fifth in the 2008 trial. See, because that goes against, that calls into question, you know, the narrative that somehow R. Kelly obstructed justice and that's the reason why he got acquitted. See, they don't want to bring up the fact that the prosecution had a weak and flawed indictment from the get-go. When you got a the alleged victim who's the centerpiece to your case testifying at the grand jury and saying it wasn't her on the tape, but the grand jury returns an indictment anyway. They're not pointing out the fact that, you know, that even occurring was, is one of those scratch your head moments. You know what I'm saying? Then when you get to trial and you keep alleging that this victim is on the tape, 
but you don't subpoena her to testify. Another one of them scratch your head moments. But the, the legacy mainstream media, they ain't reporting that. Or Jim Derek Goddess. He gets up on trial and he's pleading the fifth. Another scratch your head moment. But they not reporting that. They're not making that front and center in the masses' faces where they can see the, 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 the fuggery. They're not, they're not putting out that, oh, when the prosecution showed up at the 2008 trial, they didn't even have the original footage that was shown to the grand jury in 2002. They didn't have that footage. They had some edited, copied uh, footage to which now the judge in the NBIL uh, trial is preventing the defense from being able to uh, obtain true chain of custody from the prosecution. So they don't, they don't have to answer questions as to the chain of custody issue. Another scratch your head moment. And yet again, here you got a situation where Jim Derrick Goddess is filing a motion to where He don't want to testify. He don't he don't feel that what he has to say uh, has any merit. Because all of the individuals, the witnesses who had something to do with the tape have already said what they needed to say in the trial so far. And it's crazy because his little motion is happening on the heels of today. It coming out that trial was suspended because of operational issues within the building today the courthouse i find that highly suspicious that on the day that he was supposed to testify in court september the 6th a motion is being filed uh, for him not to testify to quash the subpoena on the very same day that oper operational issues is coming up in the whole damn building. So I wouldn't be surprised if the judge turns around and grants this motion as well. Cause he damn sure done granted everything else. Anything that I can think of so far that would have been a help to R. Kelly's uh, case, the judge has ruled against it. And now they talking about there's something else that then came out about the uh, the uh, that lead investigator that was involved in the 2008 trial, the one that suspiciously ended up murdered last year, 2021. They say he took detailed notes of the scheme to extort and blackmail R. Kelly. So now, uh, apparently, infamous Sylvia. Uh, was touching on it in a, in a video she did last night. I haven't watched it in full yet, but hmm. Well, that's interesting. But hey, you guys, you uh, comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this particular issue. Um, but man, the, the the previous video I had, it was a lot longer. I've been having individuals say, hey, you need to do longer commentary or whatnot. But, you know, uh, I wasn't satisfied with it. I was upset, you know, so I'm going to roll with this one. Please like, share and subscribe and y'all have a good one.